Cell and gene therapy is a revolution in medicine. People have been treated for many years. They've had traditional small molecule drugs, they've had more recently the kind of biotech type drugs, and this third sort of class of drugs that are coming through are so different because what they do is they get at the underlying causes of the disease. Well, most therapies, if you, if you think about it, they're often a pill a day or an injection a day or whatever to actually um, um, supplement whatever's going wrong in the body. But th these therapies have uh, the chance, whether it's a cell therapy or a gene therapy, to actually put the cells and genes in to actually do that work for you. You know, there's tons of work gone on in British universities o over the last 30 years, and, and, and worldwide. And uh, the UK's got a fantastic um, uh, heritage here from stem cells to gene therapy. But, but in 2012, it was pretty much a cottage industry. It was kind of kept alive by uh, some academics and pioneering uh, firms. Um, and, and with really a belief that, you know, amongst a lot of folk, that these therapies would, would never get to patients. So the catapult is a, is a new concept, uh, and it's really come out of the idea that Britain's got fantastic science and technology, uh, we invent everything, but, but often we fail as a nation to actually translate that into new industries, whether it's um, uh, you know, in the medical arena or, or, or other big technologies. So the whole idea of the Catapult is to set up these technology institutes to work with both academia and industry to actually help, help firms take these inventions and, and turn them into products. In 2012, um, I was invited by IUK to come along and write the plans and uh, they were very generous, they gave me uh, a 70 million pound cheque and a mobile phone and we've been beavering away uh, ever since. So we've gone from literally nothing, not even a bank account, through to uh, 150 cell and gene therapy experts in this wonderful development facility uh, that we've built from scratch in, in Guy's Hospital here now and a great big manufacturing facility, the largest of its kind anywhere in the world um, to make these things out in Stevenage. So our job has been to work on all of these barriers with firms and with academics to actually turn cells, genes into living medicines and gene medicines that could be routinely delivered for patients and for once in the UK actually develop an industry that's world beating to supply both the UK uh, and, and globally these exciting transformative therapies. Cell and gene therapies are the new paradigm in medicine. Um, they're kind of all collectively lumped together, advanced therapies, but everybody tries to think of their therapy as an advanced one, but all of these are different because of the way they work. They're different because of the way they have to be prepared and they're different because of the way they have to be delivered. So a straightforward cell therapy could be anything from, for instance, um, growing up some uh, new, some stem cells to make uh, new neurons. And there's clinical trials going on right now which inject those neurons into the brains of stroke patients and we've seen some improvements in those trials. People who've had a stroke and really couldn't even lift a cup of tea are now able to lift a cup of tea. So, yeah, fantastic. And, and there's so many opportunities from, from ophthalmology to haemophilia to um, uh, ADA skid. You know, the world's our oyster here and the potential to offer cures is, is quite, quite unprecedented because frankly, you know, a lot of people get treated, but they rarely get cured, and this is the big promise, and it's coming soon. And partly because of the work we've done, and partly because of the outstanding clinical results, there's now over 60 firms in the UK who have attracted at least 1.3 billion worth of investment. So, you know, that's gone through 
uh, all the usual routes with the university spin-outs and what have you, and the big pharmaceutical firms are interested in it now as well, whereas previously they were a bit lukewarm, they didn't really think that, um, that this was ever going to work. But, but frankly, the clinical results are so outstanding that everyone's piling into it. And indeed, that's why we've had such a uh, big emphasis on trying to scale up the manufacture of these of, of these products so that it's not just one and two therapies handcrafted but truly industrialized with, with um, uh, you know, large factories that can, can make these therapies and now that kind of barrier is moving to, towards the hospitals um, and we've built this big manufacturing centre out in Stevenage to actually help these firms uh, manufacture their products because what we really want is not only to bring health to the UK but we want to bring wealth to it as well because for once, for once, we want to develop these technologies, we want the firms to grow here and we want to be able to export these uh, around the world rather than um, invent them, have somebody else do all the hard work and then we end up buying it from uh, another country. So, you know, the actual portents for the industry are, are, are really, really good, they're really solid, they've had great government backing over the last several years. These therapies, we kind of crack, were in the business of cracking how to make them on a, a large scale and, and now our thoughts are turning to how we're going to get these to patients on a routine basis. So we're helping Innovate UK set up three new advanced therapy treatment centres uh, at the moment and what we're really looking for is to build on the uh, established clinical research activities uh, in the UK so that we can actually um, use that information uh, to actually build these new centres and it's less to do with physically building them but more to do with um, being able to handle the therapies as they come in um, um, because they're, they're really like nothing uh, most hospitals have ever seen before. If it's a living therapy, you can hardly put it in a pharmacy uh, in a blister pack and then expect it to be prescribed in the traditional fashion. So we have to invent new ways of doing this in the hospitals um, so that we can actually have these systems. So, and and it's, it's everything from um, the requirements to trace the products over 30 years to how do you handle them, thaw them out, how do you prepare them for delivery into the eye or into, uh, you know, into a cancer patient. So it's part of a process to, uh, if you like, learn and teach the hospitals how to uh, deliver these therapies on a routine basis because it's kind of okay doing ones and twos but if we're going to get it up to hundreds and eventually thousands of treatments a year, we've got to just make this normal. We've got to make um, somebody getting a stem cell uh, transplant normal. Uh, we've got to help um, make it normal to get a, a, an immune therapy where the patient gets their own cells taken out of them, uh, their own immune cells sent off to a factory, get them reprogrammed to attack cancer and then delivered back. We've got to make that norm, normal so it doesn't go wrong. Um, we've got to turn it normal to actually give, get somebody to have a gene therapy to actually correct a genetic defect. It truly is transformational um, and the industry has turned from a cottage industry into one that's kind of um, booming away and we're really, really, really pleased to be kind of at the heart of that and spearheading this great advance for the UK.